All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this chisel bevel text effect with a lot of colors in Blender, Photoshop, and Illustrator. So first I'm gonna make the chiseled bevel here in Illustrator because it's way more efficient. So I'm gonna select the text. I'm also gonna recolor it as gray. Now let's go to the 3DM materials and I'm gonna click on the extrude. Let's decrease the depth. I'm gonna activate the bevel and here you can decrease the width or increase the width. And this way is gonna create this chiseled bevel effect. And I'm gonna scroll down and here I'm gonna reset the X, Y, Z to zero, zero and zero. And then I'm gonna go to asset export and I'm gonna drag and drop the text into the asset export. Let's go and save it as an OBJ file and click on export. And now I'm gonna go to Blender and drag and drop the OBJ file into Blender. Click on import. I'm gonna reset the X rotation to zero. I'm also gonna add a plane, press shift plus A, go to mesh, select plane. Press the letter S and scale it. All right, so from here, we're gonna go to shading and I'm gonna click on the text and here, I'm going to increase the metallic all the way up. And as you can see, it's only modifying the letter I here. So I'm going to go to the material settings. And here you can see we got a lot of materials separately. And I'm going to click on the minus a lot of times until all of them are going to disappear. And I'm going to click on new, increase the metallic, and decrease the roughness. Something like this. I'm also going to add a camera, press shift plus A, select camera. I'm going to place it up. Let's go and reset the X, Y, Z rotation, zero, zero, zero. And here I'm gonna activate the camera view. And I'm also gonna split this in half. And then here I'm gonna deactivate the camera and I'm gonna bring it up something like this. So it's gonna fit in. I'm also gonna select the plane, add new, and I'm gonna adjust the color, make it dark. Let's go and activate the cycles. Let's change the EV to cycles change up the CPU to GPU. And then we're also gonna set up the world. And here I'm gonna go to the color and select environment texture. All right, so here we're gonna need a colorful HDRI and we're gonna create that one in Photoshop. Select the brush tool and I'm gonna swap the color to white. And let's go to the mode and change it to difference. So if I drag lines like this, you can see it is going to mix it up like this. And check this out, here comes the interesting part. I'm gonna click on the color and for example, I'm gonna select the red, click OK, and I'm gonna paint on it, and it's gonna mix up the colors, which looks really cool. I'm gonna change the color again, yellow, and look at that. Now you got something cool going on. I'm gonna repeat this step a couple of times and then export it as a JPEG. All right, so let's go back to Blender, let's go to World, click on Open, and here I'm gonna go with the same color combo that I did before. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description with the source files if you want and click on open image. All right, so right now we cannot see anything, so I'm gonna swap it to viewport shader. I also wanna mix this up with glow, so I'm gonna go to the compositing. I'm gonna check use nodes. Here I'm gonna go to the corner to split the viewport, and I'm gonna change it to 3D viewport. And I'm gonna activate the camera view, activate viewport shading, and I'm also gonna go to this little arrow, click on it, and select always. Now let's go here, I'm gonna press shift plus A, type in glare, and I'm gonna position the glare in between the nodes. Here I'm gonna change it to bloom, mix is gonna be minus 0 0.8, threshold 0, size 7. And now we're gonna need to add another glare, so I'm gonna make more space, I'm gonna select the glare node, press shift plus D, and I'm gonna place it in between. Change the bloom to strikes, quality to low, Mix is going to be on zero, threshold 0 0.4. I'm also going to go to render and let's go to color management, open it up. And I'm going to change up the AGX to Kronos. And this is going to bump up the contrast. And pretty much this is how I make it. Thanks for watching.